Good day everyone. So, i-discuss natin how to convert standard form to slope-intercept form or slope-intercept form to standard form. These uh, forms are equations of a line in two variables. Now, bago natin i-discuss kung paano mag-convert, dapat alam natin kung ano yung tinatawag na standard form. Okay? Now, this is the pattern or yung uh, equation ng standard form ax plus by equals c wherein a, b, and c are integers and x and y are variables. Usually, walang fraction. Okay? Yung a, b, and c kasi nga yung a, b, and c are integers. Now, ano naman yung slope enters a form? Okay, so ito naman yung kanyang pattern or equation. y is equal to mx plus p wherein m, ito yung tinatawag nating slope, and b, this is what we called the y-intercept. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya, slope-intercept form. Now, in this case, yung m and b, pwede siyang fraction. Okay, now let's proceed to how to convert standard form to slope-intercept form. Let's have, for example, we have the standard form. Let's have number 1. Uh, we have standard form 3x minus 6y is equal to 2. So, this is an example of standard form. Ang gagawin natin, gagawin natin siyang slope-intercept form. So, so kung mapapansin nyo sa slope-intercept form, kailangan y lang dito. The, re the, the remaining terms ay nandito sa right side of the equation. So, kailangan mawala isi 3x, mawala itong 6. Okay, kailangan y lang matira dito. So, anong unang gagawin? So, the main goal there is to eliminate 3x on the left side of the equation. So, paano mo siya mawawala? Paano mo siya matatanggal on the left side of the equation? So, ang gagawin natin, we subtract, okay? We copy first 3x, then mag-subtract tayo ng minus 3x kasi ang goal natin mawala iyan eh no maging 0 kaya mag-subtract tayo ng 3x then copy 6y minus 6y is equal to 2 then kung mag-minus ka dito ng 3x kailangan iyon din ang gagawin mo sa right side of the equation so dapat minus 3x din okay ang tawag dyan is subtraction property of equality. Bakit tayo nag-minus? Kasi ang goal natin, mawala itong 3x. Para ma-eliminate natin yan, 0 na yan, di ba? Okay, so we have now negative 6y is equal to, itong 2 minus 3x, pwede natin siyang uh, i-arrange. Unahin muna natin itong 3x. Since dito sa slope intercept form, na na yung may x. So we just copy negative 3x since this is positive so plus yung ating operation malapit na siya sa slope intercept form pero kailangan wala itong negative 6 kasi ang nakalagay dito y lang to eliminate negative 6 magdi-divide tayo on both sides of the equation or all terms of the equation by negative 6 Eh, bakit ka man ako magdi-divide ng negative 6? Kasi ang gusto natin, y na lang dito. Pag nag-divide tayo ng negative 6, divided by negative 6, that's 1. So, or cancel out na yan. So, ang natira na lang ay y. Lagi po bang negative 6 ang i-divide? Depende. Kung ang number dito ay 5, divide mo lahat yan sa 5. Kung ang number dito ay 7, divide mo lahat yan sa 7. Pero kung wala ng number dyan, E di wala na tayong i-divide, iyon ang sagot natin. But in this case, meron tayong negative 6. So we need to divide all terms by negative 6. Okay, now, negative divided by negative, magiging positive na to. So, magiging positive na yan. Now, pwede nating i term itong 3 and 6. Ano ang pwede mong i-divide sa 3 na pwede mo ring i-divide sa 6? Uh, the, the greatest common factor ng 3 and 6, yung pinakamalaking number na pwedeng i-divide sa 3 and 6. Yung 1, pwede natin silang i-divide sa 1. Pero ano yung pinakamalaking number na pwede natin i-divide parehas sa kanilang dalawa? That is 3. Kasi 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Okay. 
uh, since my x, we just copy x. O since my variable type as my 1, automatic understood na may 1 dyan, tatanggalin na natin. So, I think igit na na lang muna natin yung x. Okay. If we have positive sa taas, tapos negative sa baba, ang magiging sign niya ay magiging minus. Okay? Pero kung maibayit kanina, positive. Kasi negative divide negative, that's positive. So, usually, hindi na natin ilalagay yung plus dyan. Understood na positive yan. Pero ito, ang magkaiba ng sign, magiging negative dito. So, magiging sign siya as minus. Now, ano naman ang pwede mong i-divide sa 2 and 6? Ay, uh, pinakamalaking number na pwedeng i-divide sa 2 and 6, that is 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Ilalagay pa ba natin yung 1 sa taas o hindi na? Ilalagay pa rin. Bakit? Kasi wala siyang kasamang variable. Kanina kasi, although may 1 siya dito, pero may kasama siyang variable. So, hindi na natin nilagay yung 1. Pero kung walang variable, we need to write 1. So, eto na ngayon yung ating slope-intercept form. Nandito na siya sa form natin. Yung y natin, ayun na siya. So, this is now our answer. Let's have number 2. No? From standard form pa rin ito to slope-intercept form. We have 25x plus 5y equals 15. Okay, gagawin natin siyang slope-intercept form. Kailangan y na lang matira dito. So, unang step, kailangan mawala si 25x. Paano nga ulit mawawala si 25x? So, we copy 25x. Then, we apply subtraction property of equality. Magma-minus tayo ng 25x. Then, you copy plus 5y. Copy equals 15. So, kung mag-minus ka ng 25x doon, dapat mag-minus ka rin ng 25x sa right side of the equation para mag-cancel out mo na to. Okay, so ano na lang natira dito? That is 5y. Now, we just copy the... Ah, we just arrange this one para mauna itong x. So, magiging negative 25x plus 15. Okay, now, ang goal natin, kailangan y na lang dito. Ano nga ulit ang gagawin para mawala si 5? Di-divide tayo, no? On all terms of the equation. Ang tawag yan, division property of equality. Anong i-divide natin? That is 5. Eh, bakit 5? Kasi ito yung ating numerical coefficient para ma-cancel out natin to. So, anong natira? Y. Kasi yun ang goal natin, eh, y na lang. Now, so, negative 25 over 5, pwede bang i-divide? Yes, that's negative 5. X, copy X, plus 15 divided by 5, that is 3. So, that is now our answer. Okay, so let's have number 3. Uh, let's say we have 2X plus Y is equal to 6. Okay. Now, ang goal ulit natin, gagawin natin slope enters a form. So, anong gagawin para mawala itong 2x sa left side of the equation? Magma-minus tayo ng 2x. Subtraction property of equality. Minus 2x. You copy plus y. Then, you copy 6. So, kung mag-minus ka dito, dapat mag-minus ka rin sa right side of the equation para ma-cancel out mo yan. So, we copy plus y or y na lang. Okay, arrange lang natin to Dapat mauna yung x. So, magiging negative 2x plus 6. Now, meron pa ba tayong i-divide dito? Wala na, kasi y na to eh. No? Wala na tayong i-divide dyan. Ito na yun. So, therefore, this is now our answer. Mas madali ito. Okay, kanina, tiniscuss natin how to convert standard form to slope-intercept form. Ngayon, baliktad naman from slope-intercept to standard form, okay? Now, let's have, for example, number 1. Uh, we have y is equal to negative 3x plus 5. As you can see, y lang dito. Nandito siya sa slope-intercept form. Gagawin natin siyang standard form, okay? Wherein yung x and y nandito sa left side of the equation. So, 
So, itong negative 3x, kailangan mapunta siya sa left side of the equation. So, anong gagawin natin? So, we need to add 3x on both sides of the equation. So, y plus 3x equals negative 3x plus 3x, then copy plus 5. Bakit nag-add ako ng 3x? Kasi ang goal ko, itong x, 3x na to, mapunta dito. Now, kapag nag-add kasi ako ng 3x, makakancel out ito. Bakit hindi ako pwedeng mag-minus 3x kagaya ng ginawa dito, uh, ginawa nat kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina? Kasi pag nag-minus 3x ako, hindi ito makakancel out. Okay, ang magiging second ay negative 6x. We're in kung mag-plus ako dito ng 3x, 0 na to kasi magkaiba ng sign eh, di ba? So, ma-minus natin, so magiging 0. Mawawala si 3x dito. Mawawala si negative 3x dito, mapupunta siya dito. So, ang tawag dyan, addition property of equality. Okay? We can also arrange this kasi sa standard form na una yung x bago yung y. So, arrange lang natin. Gagawin natin 3x plus y equals since 0 na to, copy na lang yung 5. Understood na positive yan. Ngayon, nasa standard form na siya. Yung x and y Nandito na siya sa left side at wala ng variable sa right side. Okay? So, this is now our answer. Ganun lang kadali, no? Uh, how about this one? Let's say y is equal to 4x minus 3. Okay? Again, kailangan yung 4x mawala siya dito. Mapupunta sa left side of the equation. So, y minus 4x is equal to 4x. Minus 4x. E bakit sa nag-minus ka kanina plus? Kasi positive to. Okay? Kung mag magpa-plus ako dito, hindi to makakancel out. So kung positive yan, mag-minus ka. Kung negative to, mag-plus ka. So subtraction property of equality ang tawag dyan. So kung minus 4x ka dito, dapat minus 4x ka rin dito. Then, copy minus 3. So, we now cancel out 4x minus 4x. Now, pwede ko itong i-arrange. Pwede kong isulat as negative 4x plus y equals you copy negative 3. Dito, uh, by the way, no, ito palang x natin ay hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng negative. Okay? So, usually, ito ay positive. So, ang gagawin na lang natin para maging positive yan, mag-times tayo ng negative 1. So, kung mag-times tayo ng negative 1 dyan, kailangan mag-times din tayo ng negative 1 sa right side of the equation. Sir, but kanina hindi kayo nag-times sa negative 1 kasi positive to. Okay? Dito kasi, meron tayong negative. So, usually, walang negative dito sa ating x. No? Sa numerical coefficient ng x. So, Gagawin natin, magta-times tayo ng negative 1. Bakit negative 1? Kasi negative 1 times negative 4x, negative times negative, that's positive. Okay? Now, kung mag-times ka dyan, kailangan i-times mo rin yan dito. So, negative times positive, that's negative. So, magiging minus 1 times y, that is y. Okay lang yan na minus dito. Basta hindi negative sa unahan. Okay? So, nawala na yung negative equals negative 3 times negative 1, that's positive 3. Negative times negative, positive. Okay, so this is now our standard form. Let's have number 3 example. Uh, let's say y is equal to 3x over 5 plus 1. Okay, now pag ginawa natin standard form to, kailangan walang fraction. So, what is the first step para mawala yung fraction? Okay, so we need to find the LCD. So since 5 na lang naman yung ating denominator, uh, yung LCD niya is 5. So ita times natin to by 5. Okay, so times 5 times 5. E paano kung meron tayo ditong 2? Anong LCD ng 5 and 2? That is 10. Kaya hindi times 5 times 10. Pero in this case, wala naman itong uh, denominator. So, ang outing LCD, kung ano yung denominator nito, which is 5. So, 5 times y, 5y. Now, 3x 
times 5, that's 15x. 15x divided by 5, kasi may over 5, isulat ko. 15x divided by 5, saan galing tong 15x? 3x times 5. So, what is 15x divided by 5? That is 3x plus, kailangan i-times mo rin ito. 1 times 5, that is 5. O, oh, meron pa bang fraction dyan? Wala na. Okay? So, next goal, kailangan maging standard form. Kailangan itong 3x mapunta siya dito. So, ang gagawin natin ay 5y plus or minus 3x. Minus 3x. Okay? Kasi, magpa-minus 3x tayo dito para makancel out to. Okay? Hindi pwedeng plus 3x ha. Magpa-plus 3x tayo kung negative to. Okay? Copy plus 5. Then, we cancel out 3x minus 3x. So, itong 5y minus 3x, arrange lang natin, no? Kasi dapat tauna daw yung x. So, magiging negative 3x plus 5y. Then, you copy 5. Hmm, meron ulit tayo negative sa unahan. Anong gagawin para mawala yung negative? Magta-times tayo ng negative 1. Okay? Negative 1. So, uh, negative 1 times negative 3x. So, dito natin ilagay. That is positive 3x. Negative 1 times positive 5y. So, magiging minus 5y since magkaiba ng sign. So, magiging minus. 5 times negative 1. That is negative 5. Okay? So, this is now our standard form.